Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello to Dr. Rizilawati and those who are currently watching this. Welcome to our presentation video for assignment 1 of Subject Education Psychology, EDU 550, where our main topic will be about cerebral palsy. Before we jump straight into the presentation, let's have some introduction. My name is Aina Bia Binti Zuhaimi and my partner for this assignment is Balkis Sakina Binti Fisal and we are from class LG2402C. 2 So without further ado, let us start with the presentation. For this assignment, we are required to find three different documentaries of disability or gifted people. We chose three documentaries that cover three different individuals who have cerebral palsy. They are Geneva Tino, Faith Gilbalt, and Oram Kim Kate. Then we are required to find the similarities and differences of these three individuals, their development process, their support systems, their challenges, and how they overcome such challenges. A little bit about cerebral palsy. According to CDC, cerebral palsy is a group of disorders that affect a person's ability to move and maintain balance and posture. It is caused by abnormal brain development or damage to the developing brain. You guys can go and check out their documentaries at the link given in the description below. So, I'm going to start with the similarities between Geneva, Faith and Autumn that we found based on our analysis of their documentaries. The first things that they have in common is their passion for fashion, clothes and beautification. Geneva mentioned that she loved to shop and have a pedicure. As for Autumn, she expressed her passion for fashion through her career in modeling. She also loved to wear makeup and style herself up. Faith also shared one of her many experiences in being a model for a runway model for the foundation that make adaptive cloth. Second similarity is that they are all a young woman, range from 16 years old to 25 years old. Due to this, we will be able to see what they went through in their life as a young woman who have cerebral palsy, which we know couldn't be easy for them. Third similarity is that all of them have an have an aid or a support caretaker to help and take care of them in getting through the day. Having a caretaker as cerebral palsy is common as they will be a great help in lighten their parents' burden and also educated their family on how to take care of someone who have cerebral palsy. Next similarity is their personality, which is brief, positive and confidence. Due to all the support from their parents, family and community, they are able to become confident and brave in living their life despite the odds against them. Last but not least, all three of them are using a walker or a wheelchair to help them with their lack of mobility problems. I think that's all for the similarities between these three individuals. I'll pass it on to Balkis to continue with the differences. Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone. I am Markisa Kina from LG 2402C. So you have learned the, the similarities of those three beautiful girls and right now I'm going to show you what their differences are despite having the same disability type. First of all is the age group. Geneva is an adult because um, she is in her 20s like 24. And while Faith and Autumn are still in their teen years, with Faith um, was still 16 and Autumn was 18. And yeah, so next is their location or the setting. Faith and Autumn were living in the US, America, and Geneva lived in New Zealand with her family. And then as for their occupation, um, Geneva was still a last year university student. And later in the video, she will work as an intern. And compared to Faith, she is a high school student who is attending a special school. And while we could see in the video that Autumn is a successful model. <laughs> so the other differences are their family status. Sadly, Geneva was an adopted child, but she is very much happy with her family. And the other two are the biological daughters of their respective parents. And now the last difference, which is a bit too long, is their disability characteristics. From my observation, 
this is from my observation only <laughs> Geneva couldn't speak properly and it's the existence of communication devices to interact with people even while ordering food she also couldn't move normally as her hands and head are unstable and thus the support system workers will be there to help her like uh, most of the time and as for our faith she doesn't have much hand control to stably hold a camera but despite that her hands and head didn't move a lot like geneva so she can still control her movement yeah like mostly she can control it and plus cerebral palsy also prevents her from seeing certain colors and yeah is nearsighted she also has a cvi cardiac which is um a cortical vision impairment where she can she she is able to see normally but the brain would have a hard time interpreting it and lastly autumn is um uh, she is proficient with her oral speaking but sometimes stutters through some words and she gets annoyed when people like <laughs> like continue her 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 sentence so she is also able to control her hands and head from moving a lot and she can still walk with support although sometimes no although she limps all right now we're going to look at their cerebral pulse cerebral palsy's development Geneva's family did not see her with a disability and she is expected to work in the kitchen like the rest of their cousins and she prefers that treatment more actually and thus that makes her a very confident woman just like her right now this is closely related to the microsystem of Braun Fabrenus ecology theory where direct interactions with parents teachers and peers affect someone's development just like Geneva and then Geneva is also learning Maori language but because of nonverbal issues so she utilized the communication device to install new vocabs every week and would ask the teacher to correct her grammar using the device also Geneva was able to walk due to her determination her parents sent her to school to practice but the fine the first few months was the hardest for Geneva because she would often um, end up on the floor crying as her legs were so so sore and despite that by the end of the year she used her walking frame to attend the school assembly and that was an achievement for her hence she knew that from that moment she could do anything growing up with my mini cousins was awesome they see me for who I am. They don't see my disability. <laughs> I'm just one of the cousins. <laughs> I'm still expected to work in the kitchen and clean up like the rest of the Fano. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. Next is Faith. So Faith has a CVI, cortical vision impairment, which is a neurological blindness. And like I said, she can see normally but having a hard time in interpreting things. So she needs to touch the objects while counting, while counting as it reinforces her learning. And her new school applied this method while teaching her. The teaching was very different from her last school where they trained her brain instead of figuring out the suitable learning method for her. So in this case, the new school is using Vygotsky's uh, theory ZPD zone of proximal development. Since the teacher would assist Faith when she couldn't do the task and let her do it on her own when she could finally grasp the method. And next, Faith started therapeutic horseback riding because one of the benefits is the physical activity where riders need to use their cores to balance themselves. And when the core is strong, they are able to move their diaphragm um, to push air from their lungs and pass their vocal cords and help her, sp and, and help, uh, her speech. In terms of psychological effect, it helps uh, her self-esteem and self-confidence because when on horse uh, she is above everybody else compared to when she is on a wheelchair and lastly she is she has been attending physical therapy for three years 
and it is a very important session for every cerebral palsy patient since they tend to have frail bodies. So the, psych- the uh, physiologist would help her to train her body, especially her legs, so she could walk better even with support. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Count them all together and check. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three. As for Otter, her body prevented her from doing heavy activities like sports at school and always feeling left out. Thus, modeling is one of the things that she is able to do on her own. And her very her mother was very very supportive with her career and even encouraged the organizer to let Autumn shoot in different settings, such as at the beach, cause um she can help with Autumn's movement like bringing her up and down the stairs, and just like that. So after that, Autumn's personality improved or widened when she started modeling in 2017. And giving speeches in churches and schools, and this is also related to Erikson's lifespan development theory in stage four, as she feels confident to make an appearance more in public when she receives positive feedback from the people. And lastly, Autumn feels unbound with anything whenever she, with anything whenever she's on the runway, and it makes her see the world in a new perspective. From this, we could see that the difference between her high school self, who is very self-conscious, and her life when she started modeling. Modeling has made cerebral palsy. It's made it more adventurous and really just really fun. Okay. I'm trying to do like sassy. Okay, you're doing a good job. <laughs> I love to like show others that you know just because you have something doesn't mean you can let that stop you. Continue on, we are going to look at the challenges or concerns that were faced by Geneva, Faith and Autumn and their respective family. Then we are going to see how the support systems able to help them overcome those challenges. We are going to start with the challenges that were faced by Geneva and her family. One of the challenges that were faced by Geneva is having a speech production difficulty, which made her incapable of speaking. Therefore, any type of verbal communication with her family and other people might be difficult and challenges. Hence, Geneva communicates using one of her support system, which is with an assistant device called communicator device. Next, Geneva has a voluntary movement where she couldn't walk or sit still since birth. However, her mother saw signs that she can move her body when she was young using a little trike, so they sent her to attend physiotherapy schools. Fortunately, she was able to walk stands to her, thanks to her parents' decision to send her to physiotherapy. From this instance, we can see the Vigot Sky theory, which is the zone of proximal development. The development starts when Geneva shows signs of walking when she was small which is something that is impossible to happen according to the doctor. Hence, this is a lower limit of ZPD where Geneva work on, work on walking a little bit by herself and on her own. Then we can see the upper limit of ZPD happen when Geneva able to walk with assistance and guidance of an expert psych- physiotherapist. We can also see Diana Baumrin's parenting style theory based on Geneva's parents, where they fall under the category of being authoritative. Her mother and father nurture her possibility of walking by sending her to attend physiotherapy school after catching a glimpse of her walking using a little trike, despite being told by doctor that such a thing is impossible to achieve. The third challenge is when Geneva felt that she has to fight the constant battle to prove herself to people that don't even know her. She wished she was more included in society. It is what it is because of the people's stereotype of thinking that people like Geneva was a mental challenge and have a mind of a child. However, the way her family treated her like normal and expected her to do chores in the house makes Geneva feel included, belong, and not different. 
Her mother also mentioned that their community also had a role in raising Geneva and think that what that what's make Geneva more confident in striving to do whatever she wanted to do. This situation accordance to Brofan Brenner's theory which are microsystem, mesosystem and exosystems. So microsystem is where direct interaction with her parent very personal and crucial for fostering and supporting Geneva's development. Mesosystem is where Geneva affected by the de- by the relationship in her surrounding, like the relationship between her parents and their neighbor, where the neighbor provide assistance to Geneva parents in taking care of her. Meanwhile, exosystems is where Geneva indirectly influenced by the relationship of her parents and neighbor in her life. Next challenges, getting an internship, Geneva didn't state in the resume that she has disability for fear that some employers might prejudge her, but she still hadn't got any internship despite sending heaps of cover letter. This makes her parents worried about Geneva's future because her parents aware all the barriers and issues that Geneva has to face eventually. Thankfully, there's a chance given to her from an established company in Auckland that agreed to talk about her opportunities in internship in that company. This situation accordance to Marcia's identity status, which is identity achievement, where Geneva have been explored all alternative by sending heaps of cover letter to multiple company for the internship while she also has made com- commitments in pursuing her dreams job despite the barrier and challenges other than that there is also Ericsson's lifespan development theory of stage 3 initiative versus guilt where Geneva have the confidence and belief that it is okay to have to send heaps of cover letter to company that does not accommodate to people like her despite the risk of failure Moving on to the challenges that were faced by Faith and her family. So, Faith has vision issue, lack of hand control, body movement, and core. Hence, she attends weekly physical therapy session, therapeutic horseback riding, and the Maryland School, Maryland School for the Blind, where she learns one-on-one with the teachers. This is consistent with the We Got Sky theory, the zone of proximal development upper limit. With Faith able to improve her mobility, core, hand control, and vision issue under the guidance and assistance and assistance from the therapist. Next challenges, Faith felt invisible and upset when people don't understand her. She also used to think that people were ahead of her because she was in a walker. From this, we can see the three stages of Erickson's lifespan development theory, which are stage 6, intimacy versus isolation, where the face felt isolated and excluded from the society, then stage 4, industry versus inferiority, where faith, where faith felt inferior and, un- and useless when she experienced of failure of people failed to understand her, and lastly, stage 2, autonomy versus shame and doubt where she developed her own opinions of herself, thinking that other people were ahead of her because she was using a walker. Later on, she joins a disabled community where she meets a lot of people that have, this, that have the same condition as her. That's why she prefer having friends that also have cerebral palsy like her because they understand her. This is accordance to Erickson's lifespan development theory, intimacy versus isolation, as well as peer statuses, which is popular, as she was happy in, act- in acting herself without the need to change anything to gain friends. We can see how Faith able to have companionship, physical support, ego support, and intimacy, and affection from her cerebral palsy friends. Third challenge is from her father, where his biggest fear was who is going to look after Faith, how Faith is going to do things once he's gone from the world. Her father has hoped that in the future, there is going to be a possibility that an advanced technology is going to be developed and help people who aren't mobile themselves like Faith. Moving on to the next challenges is when Faith has trouble putting clothes on herself. Therefore, she is using adaptive clothes that have zip and magnet instead of button. The runway of dreams, the runway of dreams foundation that created the clothes Faith wearing, also have invited her multiple times to become a model for the runway in occasion. From this instance, we could conclude that it related to Piaget theory, the schemas and assimilation. The schemas is that normal clothes with buttons are difficult to wear for someone who have cerebral palsy like faith. Then come assimilation where the foundation incorporates new knowledge into making a new design of clothes that can easily wear for people like faith. 
Last but not least, the challenges that were faced by Autumn and her family. First, Autumn's biggest challenges is having people finish her sentences whenever she's having trouble in speaking, like stuttering because it drives her mad. It is one of her pet peeve. For this type of challenges, Autumn couldn't overcome it with the support systems as it is not a problem that lies in her, but instead, the problem lies in other people. Next challenges, she remember felt different from her peers in school because she had to be in special education, having an aide at school and use a walker. She also couldn't participate in sport and track field, and that made her just kind of laugh at the side of things. We can see the Marcia's, Marcia's four statuses of identity theory, which is identity moratorium, where Autumn have been explored alternative to fit in with the society, but could not make commitment on whether to join sport or track field due to her condition. But then, she started to feel free, confident, adventurous, and fun when she decided to be a model in 2017. She also went to give motivational speeches at churches and schools. Modeling is something that Autumn want to do and her mother want to support that and stay beside her throughout her journey. From this instance, there is Ericsson Lifespan Development Theory, Stage 4, which is Industry versus Inferiority, where Autumn finds that her, that her doing modeling is purposeful, purposeful and meaningful as she develops competent skills and confidence in herself. Then there is also stage 5, which is identity versus role confusion, where Autumn gets a sense of self as a model in her life and the future. We also have the Marcia's four statuses identity, which is identity achievement, where Autumn has been explored all alternatives to find something that she can do and have been made a commitment in pursuing modeling. The third challenge is when her mother when her mother concerns and upset when people tell Autumn that she, can't, that, she, that she can't become a model because she isn't tall enough. But through Autumn's determination in, in achieving what she wants to do in her life, her mother had no choice but to give her daughter full support and love. Hence, Autumn had done lifestyle shoots in New Mexico and extra for a movie, photo shoots across the US, three billboards in Times Square and one in Hollywood. From this, we can see Diana's Pamrin theory of parenting style, which is authoritative, where her mother support and nurture her dream. There is also Erickson's lifespan development theory, stage 3, which is initiative versus guilt, where Autumn determined and confidence with her choice of pursuing modeling, despite the risk of failure or getting dis disapproval from other people. So, in a nutshell, disabilities um, cannot prevent anyone from pursuing their dreams and it even becomes a motivation to keep going. And instead, we, the one who is capable of living a normal life, should provide the same opportunities as other people to them and put aside biased judgment of them. That is all from me and Aina Biha. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.